from BT now and it is day 50 of the Olympic torch run. It is underway right now in Toronto. Let's take a live look at the scene on University Avenue where the handoff is about to happen. And there it is. The torch started its run this morning on the steps of Queen Park at 6 a.m. Each runner runs about three, uh, 300 meters with the torch. So far, it's traveled more than 26,000 kilometers. Now it is on its way towards the Rogers Center, the CN Tower, and the Distillery District all by 7 o'clock. Vicky Sonohara, the two-time Canadian Women's Hockey Olympic gold medal winner, lit the flame last night at City Hall. It was the pinnacle of yesterday's festivities in the GTA. And the celebrations ended with dazzling fireworks after thousands listened to live entertainment and cheered on our hopes for a great showing in Vancouver next year. Well, earlier in the evening, a protest delayed the torch run by about an hour. About 200 activists jammed Young in college, chanting no Olympics on stolen native land. That forced organizers to do a jog around the protesters. All right, so here's a map of the torch route for this hour. Again, the run is going to head south on University down to front. It'll head towards the Rogers Center, then loop around back toward Union Station. The run will move through the Distillery District, north on Parliament around 7 a.m., up to the Danforth, passing Cosborne and Pape after 7.30. And if you stayed here last night, you got to see the torch run from the comfort of yeah. your room, didn't you? Yeah. Quite a show. <laughs> Now maybe you saw maybe you saw Jesse. Jesse actually got to run the torch on Young Street last night. Yeah. How'd that feel? It was great. I I got to I got to run the torch, and I got to hand it off to someone. And I I got picked uh, last night when I was standing Just last at Nathan. Night. So you were standing at Nathan Phillips Square. They picked you randomly. Yeah. That's amazing. What what did it feel like? It was great. I got to hold up the torch and everything. It was. Can I hold it? Yeah. It and is get, quite heavy. And you get to keep this. Yeah. Wow. Now, the torch is still being run right now, in fact. Wow. It started just about uh, half an hour ago from up uh, Queen's Park. So it's actually only a couple of blocks from here right now. So just keep that in mind if you're driving around later on today. Jesse, thank you so much. Where, where will you put this? In my room. <laughs> there you go. That's very smart. Thank you so much. Thank you thank very you for much. for doing that. That's fantastic. Wow. He's having a Christmas uh, that uh, he's going to remember. remember. For sure. The Olympic flame burns bright again today in Toronto. The second Toronto leg of the relay started around 6 this morning on University. The flame will move through the downtown core until around 9 a.m. Then the relay goes north to Newmarket. By the time the convoy leaves the GTA, 200 torchbearers will have carried the flame. Canadian father and son movie makers Ivan and Jason Reitman shared a memorable moment relaying the Olympic flame on Young Street. It's been an amazing week for my family. Uh, and the idea that my father and I are about to share this moment this is something that I never could have imagined happening. I'm feeling great. I mean, this has been quite a week for the Reitman family uh, between the Golden Globe nominations and just to see uh, our son, you know, celebrated the way he is. Ivan Reitman says the Olympic Committee contacted Jason first, then thought adding him would be great. While the torch was delayed about an hour by protesters at Youngin College last night, about 200 people beat drums and chanted no Olympics on stolen native land. Some people who waited hours to see the torch missed their chance when organizers rerouted the run off Young Street. It's 6.33 now. The Olympic flame is making its way through Toronto streets for the second day in a row. And it started early this morning. Here was the scene a little after six on University as the flame was passed on just moments after leaving Queen's Park. It'll be traveling through the downtown core this hour. Four on BT now, Toronto still in the grips of Olympic fever as the torch lights up the early morning sky.
This right now is a live look uh, near 51 Division on Parliament Street. The flame is expected to make its way here any moment now. That is the next torchbearer getting ready for her big moment. Very soon they'll bring her on the street and uh, release the butane so she can uh, ignite her flame and go on her way. So we'll get back to this shot when it happens in just a... Oh, actually, there's the flame right now. Here it comes towards Parliament in front. And there is the next torch runner and the handoff, the kiss as they call it, happens right now. And that's it, quite an exciting moment for about 200 torch runners here in Toronto who will carry the torch today. So this torch now, since uh, his job is done, will be extinguished and the torch run continues. So the torch actually began its day at Queen's Park in the wee hours with the lighting out front on the steps. This is the second day the flame is here in the city. It will travel through the downtown core this hour. And the relay goes north of the city into Aurora and Newmarket later this morning. It is day 50 of the Olympic torch run, day two here in Toronto. Well, here's the handoff out front of Union Station as United Way CEO Francis Lankin gets the flame for the next leg of the run. It left from Queen's Park a little before 6 a.m. and finishes the day in Brampton. Good morning. It's 8.01 on this Friday. Chilly temperatures can't keep people from lining up to get a glimpse of the Olympic flame as it continues to trek through T.O. Here now is a live look at the scene near the East York Civic Centre, the latest pit stop for the Olympic flame. After it arrives here, uh, within the next few minutes or so, it's then off to Newmarket, Vaughan, and we'll end the day in Brampton. So we'll get back to this shot if the flame comes through. Well, another early morning handoff of the Olympic flame here in Toronto. This one in Regent Park this past hour. It's day 50 of the torch run that will cover 45,000 kilometers before ending in Vancouver in February. So the Olympic torch relay continues right now. So we're nearing the end. But uh, first, we'll have to pass by the East York Town Centre. That'll happen just after 8 o'clock. Then it'll head on to the DVP at Winford Drive. So that'll be the end of Toronto's historic leg of the 2010 Olympic torch relay. Hello. It's 814 on Breakfast Television. We want to update the Olympic torch run now. It uh, just went by us at Overly Boulevard. Let's take a look. Here it is. The uh, torch uh, bearer right there is Sharon Frazier. She uh, just accepted the torch and is uh, walking right now uh, right by the East York Town Center. We'll uh, hang a left up Don Mills and then on to Winford to the DVP and that is where it'll end its run in Toronto. Onwards then to Newmarket, Bolton, Keswick, Vaughan, Markham and ending the day in Brampton. It's 8.32 and it started before the sun came up. The Olympic torch run continues in Toronto. Well, this is the scene now live as the runner Ella Den Elzen carries the torch here up uh, in the uh, East York area. You can see the convoy traffic is stopped here, but uh, people are getting quite the sights. Some people have actually got out of their cars to witness history in the making here. And this is the second leg of the uh, Toronto torch run. It all started at 6 a.m. outside Queen's Park. This was earlier in East York as it uh, passed in Overly Boulevard. It uh, rounded the corner by a couple schools so the students can get up close and personal look with the flame. So the torch is now heading on to the DVP at Winford Drive. That'll be the end of Toronto's historic leg of the 2010 Olympic torch relay. But the torch run is now heading up to the Newmarket area. It'll tour several smaller towns north of the GTA before coming back through Vaughan and Brampton this evening. So once again, a live look here as the torch passes on Don Mills just by the Science Centre.